Hello friends, Davin here, composer and lyricist. It's a beautiful gray summer morning here in Olympia, Washington, and I wanted to take a moment to tell you about July's release, I Wouldn't Change a Thing. It's another entry in my 21st Century Songbook. Uh, my effort to learn from the legacy of great American composers, the Ellingtons, the Porters, uh, Gershwins, Rogers of Hearts, and so on. Um, a few years ago, a friend and mentor, Olympia-based jazz trumpeter and arranger, Mr. Sid Potter, challenged me to write a 32-bar tune. And so that's why uh, you'll see so many 31-bar, uh, 34-bar tunes. I just kept shooting for 32. Uh, this one is 24. So uh, those of you who are musicians will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Second-tier patrons can download the PDF and check my math. Um, all subscribers, of course, get free streams and downloads. Uh, those of you who are listening closely will notice that uh, this month's track sounds just a little louder, a little fuller, a little clearer than previous tracks. And that's because I'm happy to say that due to the momentum of your support, I was able to get this track mastered for commercial release. Uh, so some of you already know, but mastering is an editing process where they take the raw information from the mix down and just kind of uh, polish it up, smooth it out a little bit. And uh, it is a time consuming process and mastering services are not cheap, but I'm very happy to announce that uh, from now on I will be mastering the tracks of the 21st Century Songbook featuring Joe Bach for commercial release. And those of you who uh, are patrons will get mastered copies of the previous tracks when I release 21st Century Songbook as an EP. And I don't want to jinx anything, but I'll be making an announcement about that soon. So. Thank you so much for your support. Um, once again, uh, this track features the amazing Mr. Joe Bach on the piano. Uh, that's his 100-year-old chickering that you hear. It was recorded, engineered, mixed, and mastered by Mike Tortorello at Soundchaser Productions. Uh, let me know what you think in a comment. Thanks for listening.